Now, what about uh, reactions or offering commentary? Because that's something that um, at least I personally have seen all over YouTube. How does that fit in with what you're saying here about duplication? Did you know that YouTube is removing channels from the YouTube Partner Program if they produce duplicate content on their channels? Stay tuned throughout the video because I'm going to show you what is duplicate content, how it affects you, and what to do if your channel has been removed from the YouTube Partner Program for duplication. Hello, my name is Herman Drost. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, and sales on autopilot, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So what is duplicate content? This is content that's been generated automatically by different softwares. For example, there's software that takes the same video and uploads it to multiple channels. A person might do this to manipulate the rankings and not help users. Do you have hard examples of this? One category that comes up a lot is stuff that doesn't seem to be original, that's maybe being pulled in from other places. It's not always obvious what's going on. It could be sort of an auto-generated voice or videos that are just text and we're not sure where that text came from. We've seen stuff that seems to be auto-generated animation or just a really basic kind of kids game being played or uh, something like that without a lot of additional content or, or narrative around it. It's intended to manipulate the search engines and not help the users. So Google takes actions on such content and this includes text that makes no sense to the reader which may contain search words. So somebody has got some software that they want to get quick rankings lots of views and lots of subscribers by uploading content that has the search keywords in it, but the content makes no sense to the reader. Number two, content taken from third party sources, but the creator is offering no narrative. For example, if you offer narrative to a video you're reacting to, that's fine. Now, what about uh, reactions or offering commentary? Because that's something that um, at least I personally have seen all over YouTube. How does that fit in with what you're saying here about duplication? Absolutely, and that stuff is super important to YouTube and um, really great for the audience. So if, if creators really are you know, adding that value, they're uh, adding a narrative, there's commentary there, there's, there's discussion around it, that's coming from them, then that's okay. So I just gave you an example of how I took a clip from a third party resource and added my own narrative to it. Number three, content is uploaded by multiple users. For example, you might take the same content from somebody else's video and upload that video as your own. This means you're not the original uploader and therefore your channel may be removed from the YouTube Partner Program. This other category, if you hear about duplication, a lot of time that refers to content that's coming from other sources where the creator really isn't adding much to it. So that could be videos from other platforms or it could be TV content. It could be um, other stuff like that or, or even, you know, we talked a little before about you know, auto-generated stuff. We see some of that in this category. Number four, content uploaded in a way that's trying to get around the copyright tools. For example, you might use copyright music in your video that's not allowed by the original creator. As a result, you might get a copyright strike on your video. I recommend getting permission from the original creator or using copyright free music from YouTube. If you do this, you won't get in trouble. Who does this affect? It affects those people that are already in the YouTube Partner Program, as well as those people that are applying for the YouTube Partner Program. My channel is removed from the partnership program because of duplication, it doesn't make any sense. My channel was removed from monetization with duplication. It seems it's because I'm in the process of organizing multiple channels into one. I've waited for 60 days for a response. Still getting uh, help for additional review, email. End of the year is too far. That's a full year under review. So how do you avoid duplicate content on your channel? Number one, add commentary to the video or show your presence in the video. Number two, link back to your channel from your website. Number three, provide more context in your video and in your channel descriptions. Number four, make sure your content conforms to the YouTube Partner Program policies. Make sure it also conforms to the YouTube Community Guidelines and the AdSense policies if you're monetizing your channel. Let's take a quick look at YouTube's Community Guidelines. Nudity or sexual content, harmful or dangerous content, hateful content, violent or graphic content, harassment and cyberbullying, spam, misleading metadata and scams, threats, copyright, privacy, impersonation, and child safety. If you violated YouTube Partner Program policies, community guidelines, or AdSense policies, you may be removed from the YouTube Partner Program. 
could you cover why we might say no? Sure, yeah, so there are two primary kind of areas that the team is coming across. One is maybe a little more intuitive. Uh, it's just looking at whether the content on the channel is appropriate for ads. You know, so obviously advertisers have a lot of concerns about what their brand shows up next to. And if the majority of a channel you know, contains content that isn't brand safe in that way, likely we won't accept it. So that's the first thing. Okay. Yep. The second major area that people might know less about, so it's important we talk about it, is where you get a response that refers to duplication. And you know, what's going on there is you wanna make sure that creators can get rewarded where they're really putting their creative energy into their content and that there's really quality stuff for, for the Audience. What should you do if your channel has been removed for duplicate content? Now, what can you do if you get rejected from YPP? You can reapply in 30 days and generally give you, you know, sort of the reason that the application wasn't accepted. You think about kind of changing your content strategy a little bit so that you know it kind of meets the requirements that the team is applying. Once you've identified the duplicate content, remove it from your video. You can reapply after 30 days. YouTube will review your application in your channel again. Here are some important things to keep in mind. Number one, monetizing third-party content. You can monetize third-party content if you have commercial rights to that content and you add value to that content in some way. This can include high-quality editing, adding commentary, or your own narrative. Number two, demonetization. If your channel gets removed from the YouTube Partner Program, you'll no longer be able to monetize your channel. This means you'll no longer be able to generate revenue from AdSense ads being displayed on your videos. Number three, Super Chat Disabled. If your channel has been demonetized, you'll no longer be able to receive Super Chat donations. What if you want to generate revenue from a YouTube channel, but don't have monetization enabled because you don't meet the requirements of the YouTube Partner Program of 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers? Don't worry, just click the link in the card to watch my video on seven alternative ways to generate revenue from a YouTube channel. If you want to generate traffic, leads, and sales on autopilot, click the subscribe button below and check out the other videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.